Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for February. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, the Page of Wands, Aquarius. The Hierophant. Ooh. The King of Wands. All right, Aquarius, what's going on here? The lovers, it was reversed, I don't really do reversals. Okay, uh, there actually might be, um, and the four of pentacles, there might be a choice. You, you're showing up here underneath with the three of cups and the stars, so I really actually love that. Okay, love that, that's nice, this is nice. Um, because this is telling me that there's something here to celebrate around. Um, I think there's a choice um, around um, love, and commitment that needs to be made this uh, the middle of February. I think you're really uh, diving deeper into the unconscious layers of like you know what has held me back in the past. What you know why have I been afraid to open up? There's there's a lot of like I'm feeling like psychological self evaluation around you assessing maybe why love hasn't worked out for you in the past and 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 what what you're willing to do to make love work for you now, you know, and um, what work you're willing to put in, peace, um, so that um, so that you can either work on your relationship, ha, sorry, the 12th house, I surrender, um, either work on your relationship or more than that, okay, either work on your relationship or um, more than that, um, if it's not like if you don't if you're not in a relationship it, it's about like where do you need to work on yourself so that you can come from a uh a, a, a better place when attracting love into your life oh my god there's too many cards um love into uh your life you know it's interesting that the house of surrender which is pisces and neptune this is the house of intuition and the unconscious here's where we can see transcendent experiences hospitals prisons secret agendas and hidden enemies as well as unknown possibilities and one's weaknesses this house is also associated with long-term confinement seclusion and psychic abilities so i think this is you're in this place okay uh, I'm going to read for both of those in a relationship and that are single. This is very much feeling like a relationship reading to me. I'm not really seeing a lot of finances, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, look at that. The high priestess. Some of you might have heavy Pisces or be in a relationship with a Pisces. Um, I think you're you're trying to understand how you're going to move forward here, right? What, what do you need to surrender to? Where in your unconscious are you creating challenges, difficulties, obstacles um, that are potentially limiting the way that you attract love into your life? There's a lot of like self-evaluation. It's like you're getting very real with yourself. And we do have a stellium in Aquarius right now. So I mean, it would make sense. I think Saturn's in there. Uh, who else is in there? I want to turn around and say maybe, uh, I know Mercury, Saturn. Um, uh, I think Uranus is in there as well. There, there's no, is that right? No, I don't think so. Um, or no, wait, maybe it's not Saturn that's in there. I think it's Uranus that's in there, Mercury for sure, um, it's Venus. I don't know. Anyways, I have to look up. I didn't pull it up on the chart to see. Um, but with the stellium going on, it's like there's a lot of like you getting real with yourself. Okay, I gotta level up now. You know, I've had another cycle around the sun. Now I gotta like really get clear in how I can work on myself to get into that high vibrational star energy. For some of you, you might be dating someone that's a little bit younger than you, or you might be a little bit younger than them, um, but there's a, a potential conversation around commitment here with a page of wands, the Hierophant, and the King of Wands, okay? Regardless of what kind of gender you identify with or what kind of relationship you have, there's discussion around, you know, do we keep things the same or do we level up? Right, with the lover's card here, I'm getting very heavily again that this is love, especially with the hair font and the page of wands and the king of wands. It does feel like the, there is two different levels. Um, you know, I don't want to, I, I really don't feel like this is like, um, 
like a yin to yang energy it's not to say that one person can't level up to reach like one person can't go from a page of wands to a queen of wands but that's just quite simply not where they're at right now okay so there is a little bit of imbalance there in this connection um for others of you um this is a choice to message someone uh do i message them do i not do i communicate do i not do i can get get in contact do i not um Either way, whether it's a single reading or the relationship reading, uh, there is a struggle around vulnerability with this Four of Pentacles. Very closed off energy. And it's interesting because the universe is saying, give your relationship a chance, right? Work on your partnership, okay? So either way, you know, again, in order to make relationships work, you know, they take work. And so you have to be willing to put in the work to get the results. And then you got your mantra card is peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So maybe you come from a home where, you know, relationships weren't necessarily the healthiest. And maybe you're still learning how to have healthy relationships with people. And so there's this understanding of like surrendering to these unconscious patterns that are not serving you and opening yourself up to being vulnerable because then in your passion and love section of your reading you have the three of pentacles the queen of wands and the high priestess so it's natural here to like when i see this there's a lot of passion and there's a lot of love right whoever it is that you have this attraction for this desire for right and if you're single whoever it is that you're manifesting whoever it is that you're wanting to bring into your life there's a lot of passion there's a lot of love there's a lot of really beautiful uh fiery energy and and stable energy to be offered into this connection into this union but in order to be able to give that from a place of authenticity and from a high vibrational energy, there has to be this work that you have to do. Overall, I think that the middle of February on to the end of February is going to be um, a very peaceful time for you. Um, very much moments of like a lot of aha, aha. And I don't know why I did this. Maybe some of you are Italian. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and the three of cups, okay? Um, you know, celebrating with your friends, having a good time, celebrating with your partner. Some of you might even be talking about getting engaged, um, you know, taking the relationship to the next level like that. Um, maybe you'll be a little bit afraid, like, oh, fuck, it's going to cost money to get engaged and to get married and all that stuff. So there's a lot of... A lot of relationship energy happening for you um, in the mid to end of February. Overall, I think in your career and your finances, you're doing you're doing just fine. You're doing just fine. You know, you've hustled, you've done your stuff, you work hard, um, and so there's a lot of energy. I'm like, okay, my career part is good. Now, how do I focus on my love part? You know? All right. Well, that's all I have for you, Aquarius. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated and what you thought of this reading. If you are interested in booking a private, either live or pre-recorded service with me, take a look at the description box below. If you like gemstone healing jewelry, uh, check out my jewelry line, Star Sea Jewels, your modern day amulets to help you tap into your limitless potential. I am wearing Mal Ojo and I'm also wearing Venus. Pleiades has not come out yet and best step for your money, honey. This is beautiful for love if you're a female. Um, I also have some bracelets for males or those that identify with more masculine energy on the website as well. All right, everything's in the description box below. Thank you so much. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.